welcome to episode 177 of Marketing Without the Marketing. I'm your host, Michael Bosey, trying on a new format for this podcast uh, over its long run. I've tended towards longer episodes, and I really want to get into shorter episodes that are really focused on a particular topic. And today's topic, the title of the episode, is that we need marketing more than ever now. And I want to support that statement uh, in this episode. Here's the thing. We're all marketing in some form or another, whether we're trying to find a job, create a job, find a life partner, find new friends, join a community group, trying to make changes in the world. All this requires marketing. Now, of course, this is not the marketing that you think of when you think of marketing, you know, advertising and all the disgusting things that people do in the interest of hawking something, interrupting us, manipulating us, whitewashing things, lying to us, omitting things. That's obviously not the marketing that I'm talking about. But if we want to make change in the world in any form, it's going to take strong ideas expressed with clarity, with empathy, and making a real connection in order to win someone over to your strong ideas. Some of our biggest problems in the world today could have been solved with a better clarity of ideas. For instance, climate change, which is probably the wrong term to impel action, Uh, social movements, the response to the pandemic, uh, fighting against the literal fascism that we see uh, and at the hands of all of its enablers, not just the current administration. Listen, all of these things could have been better in response. Uh, we could have made more progress with better marketing, better clarity of voice, better explanation. Yes, better slogans, a better presentation of our ideas. And look, we're losing ground out there. Right now, we see, when we look around, a lack of connection. We see more separation between people, not just folks looking down at devices when a real human is right there in front of them, but of course, we've been separated now into our respective homes. We don't see people as much as as we used to, or it's mediated through a screen. When we do see people, everyone's masked now, right? So we can't see a smile. We can't see an expression. We can't detect a joke. We need less separation and more connection. And marketing helps with that. And yes, in this podcast, I'm going to be getting into more general interest topics that may be tangential to what we think of as marketing. Uh, Like I've said over and over again, What you do on the web is you in digital form, and getting that right encompasses a lot more than just hocking your stuff, right? It's in everything we do, everything we put out there, and everything that we stand for. And yes, I'm going to get into some politics because it's related. If you think that politics don't matter, that's a position of privilege, and it matters to some people, even if it doesn't to you specifically, because it directly affects them, and most specifically those people who have the least power. And if we are not using our voice to speak up for those who need us, I'm not sure what we're doing here. I mean, what's the point of having an audience if we're here just to exploit it for our own benefit? And here's the secret. Our audience will see right through that if we don't speak up, and it will be a governor on your growth. There are different expectations on us now as small business owners, as creatives. Look, we're a part of the culture. And if we choose to push these issues aside, we will sink to the bottom. So I ask you to think of marketing in a different way, right? If you want to propagate a new idea to the world, that's marketing. If you have a not-for-profit, a small business, marketing. If you have a creative business, writing, music, visual arts, creating jewelry, You need marketing. If you run a service, you're a house painter, a plumber, you need marketing. If you provide health and fitness services, personal training, massage, acupuncture, marketing. Or even if you are trying to find a traditional job, you are still marketing yourself. 
So I mentioned in the last episode that this podcast was going to have a different format, but I also do want it to have a different focus and a different flavor going forward. And yes, we're going to handle some tough topics. Yes, I'm going to get into some rants. The only thing I can promise you is that it's done with honesty and a genuine intent. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to share experiences with you, and I hope you'll do the same with me in the comments section. Hit me up on Twitter, on LinkedIn. Send me an email. I want to hear from you as well. And look, if you ever want something from me, I know you'll come ask for it. I respect you. I don't need to be begging for your business or to buy something or whatever. Who cares about that? That is not what the new marketing is about. And uh, let's do this thing together. All right. Thank you, as always, for your attention. I value it greatly. And we'll see you on the next episode. 